All right, so what I need now is I need a, a portable log well to transport some bass from a lake to a ranch pond or ranch lake. And I'm going to use this old 70 quart igloo cooler that's not in very good shape. It's still function, hold water, probably still be just fine for a cooler, but we have so many of them. And uh, I think it's time to update and get coolers with wheels on them. And this will ride on the back of a, a gator or, oh, it's a Kawasaki mule, that's what it is. So I got this, let's see, this old pump. Uh, it's brand new. Um, take a look at that. The uh, 2014 cost 25 or 26.59 with tax, but I sold the boat for more than I paid for it, so pretty much the pump is free. The cooler is something that was given to me, so that made the cooler free. I had uh, all the PVC pump I think I'm gonna need, which. It really isn't free, but it's not costing me anything because I had everything. So I'm going to start off, and sizes of bits won't matter because your pump may be different. You may just get a submersible pump. You don't have to drill through the cooler. It really doesn't matter. So to drill into it, what I don't need is um, I don't need any water issues, leaks. I figure I'm going to put this pump here and these ridges really won't make a lot of difference because the gas that's going on the inside. So I'm going to take my drill bit and get this, get me a hole going here. Get that side. So we'll take our pump. Let me move the camera and give you a little bit better visual here. Maybe I can split the sides as in you can see inside and outside at the same time. And I got a gasket for the outside. This is made out of an old bicycle tube. Not really necessary to put one on the outside, but I'm gonna do it. And I have one for here. Nice snug fit. I like that. Then we'll put the, I'm not sure if y'all can see all the way in there or not. Move you to the other end, Make, give you a better visual. Well, you may need to build one of these. And okay. Get our other gasket and we'll put it right here. Take our nut. Now, I'm not going to crank down on this, but I'm just going to snug it so I can still spin this. And then next, what I want to do well, I may have to something I'm going to have to take that out to get my measurement. I can't believe that. This is that mistake, huh? And then the next thing I want to do is I took a T and 
I haven't glued it together yet, but I kind of mocked it up so that I can make sure instead of, I didn't, I had caps, but I thought, you know, I'll just bend it. Doesn't matter if it leaks a little bit. So I bent the ends so they don't have to, you know, keep my cost down and save my caps for later. Cause those little caps are hard to find, especially in this size PVC. And what I want to do is put, have this where it sticks out, you know, pretty close to Do it straight up or straight out. We're going to also I'm going to take this and then we'll go on the outside. We'll take that off for now, and then um, kind of guesstimate on the placement of this piece. And put it up a little bit high so you can get some. You know, if you put it too low, it's not going to splash. You need it to splash the area to get to the fish. So put it up as high as you can. Let's see. I'll put it here so I don't... It should be... A, yeah, I can do that. Use a little caulk in here, but that's not a big deal. Not too much worry about that. I've had this cooler. I sent. I know since I, I bought my boat, my offshore boat, brand new in '05. So I've had it since then. And there's no telling how many. Thousands of fish have been in this thing. All right, so we made the inside just a little bit bigger. And I'll show you why in just a second. And don't use silicone. Silicone is, uh, it molds up and eventually it just, it just lets go. So now what we need to do is put the hose on here. And then the elbow. I'll glue that up. Let's see. So I'll glue it up after I get everything. So I know that I want to cut that shorter. Because I really don't want slack. I'm not slacking here, so I need to cut probably about a half inch off of it. So just keep test fitting everything before you glue it. Cut the hose off. <laughs> Got some styrofoam in my mouth. There's my length right there. Look right in the hose. Uh, there's a little bitty. I guess that's the seam where they put it together. So what I'll do is I'll get it started with that. And I have a wood carving tool. This. So what I want to do is I want to go. Right under that, I want to chisel that back some more. As far as I can, because otherwise it's going to mess with your seal. I 
I don't know if all garden hoses are like this, but check yours before you do this to make sure that you get that out. Like I'm done on that side. All right. Should have left that extra quarter inch on there. We'll just do that again. Get me a longer piece. I did have my measurement correct. This is not really all that important if it leaks or not. Because like I'm telling you, it's an air eater. As long as it leaks on the inside, you don't lose your water, you're good. And the plumbers will tell you to dope the inside of that and dope the outside of this. Well, they're correct. If I've done it for plumbing and I don't have to worry about water issues, water leaks, then I won't do that. First, what we'll do is we'll slide this in here. Alright, we'll go there. Now, I forgot to get my bucket of water, so I'm going to run out and grab some in just a second. I just, it won't take me just a second because I'm going to dip it out of the pool and I'll be done quickly. Now, it might make a little bit of difference for you to make sure that. This one's doped really well because you don't want it leaking out here. So the next thing you want to do is give you a little bit more of a different angle here. And I took, this is from one of those uh, drain pipes from the sink. I just took it and heated it up. It made kind of like a pad aisle on a boat. So, what I'm going to do is make sure you use the stainless steel screws because you, you don't want this rusting in here. these I didn't know how many I would how many I would need when you run that screw in don't tighten it don't try to tighten it up real tight just just uh close the gap that's all you gotta do because if you try to run it in real tight you the screw will act like a drill bit and just ram it out let's see if I can do this I need an extra hand I'm more as worried about wasting y'all's time and I like to make a video that people will watch all the way through. Keep the time is 
Little time is important. So two of them should do it. Right there. Let's get all this stuff out of there. Our cooler. I gotta find my stainless steel basket that goes over here. You want that if you're gonna be putting small bait in here or something, shrimp or I doubt if we'll ever do that. This will go out and stay at the ranch probably for the rest of its working life. off because my my gasket rolled up on me. I thought I'd be able to just test it real quick, but it doesn't look like it. But at least you got the build part of it down. If you don't want to hang around for this, then I understand. I'm gonna see if I can square this up real quick. I'll make the video a little bit longer, but you can always fast forward. 